Hello all and welcome to Falcon Stadium for today's opening district matchup between your Meal Shoe Meals and the Bushland Falcons. I'm Elliot Davis coming to you under the Friday Night Lights with Gil M Advertising Channel 6 Meal Shoe. Rainy and cold is what this game has for us so far as uh, two powerhouses come colliding together. Milshu 5-1, Bushland 6-0 oh on the season. Milshu's only lost coming in a little field, but they have beaten La Misa, Friona, Tulia, Abernathy, and Brownfield. They ended their, um, I would say, loserless season that Brownfield had. Uh, Bushland, same situation coming in, undefeated, and uh, Milshu's looking to end that streak for the Falcons as well. Last week, Daniel Sines was named the Lubbock Avalanche Journal Player of the Week. Congratulations to Daniel Sines. And the whole Milshu squad was named the KCBD End Zone Team of the Week. Congratulations to the Milshu Mills on their awards. Now here's the Bushland Falcon roster. At number one, you have Zach Zundell. Two, Matthew Bridges. Three, AJ Marquez. Four, Tanner Adams. Number five, Stockton Blount. Six, Ivan Soto. Seven, Aiden Sawyer. Eight, Austin Ryder. Nine, Weston Forbes. 10, Dawson Jaco. 11, Stratton Molly. 12, Baylor King, 14, Cole Purcell, 17, Jesse Cantrell, 19, Jackson Finch, 20, Jate Suggs, 22, Tate Butcher, 24, Brecken Hall, 25, Creed Copeland, 28, Cade Gavina, 31, Cedro Carrillo, 34, Breakin Reed. 35, Quentin Shrewsbury. 44, Easton Fuentes. Number 50, Evan Perry. 51, Ty Morrison. 52, Rhett Real. 55, Turner Johnson. 57, Jacob Sensons. 58, Isaiah Rodriguez. 60, Slade Sprinks. 62, Cannon Melban. 64, Zeke Fish. 68, Jake White. 70, Blake Sim. 72, Baron Hill. 73, Ethan Thompson. 75, Charlie Pitt. 81, Max Rodriguez. The head coach is going to be Josh Reynolds. The superintendent for Bushland is Chris Wigington. Now here's your Mill Shoe Mill roster. Number zero, Davian McMullen, wide receiver, linebacker, senior. Number one, Irvin Torres, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. Two, Judas Reyes, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. Three, Bones Cincinnatos, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. Four, Ryan Dominguez, quarterback, defensive back, sophomore. Five, Nathan Martins, quarterback, defensive back, sophomore. Seven, Sebastian Curvin, quarterback, linebacker, junior. Eight, Justin Dyke, wide receiver, linebacker, senior. Ten, Donovan Gonzalez, wide receiver, defensive back, junior. Number 11, Yahir Kazeda, wide receiver, wide receiver, defensive back, sophomore. 13, KB Herrera, wide receiver, defensive line, junior. 18, Anthony No. Running back, defensive back, senior. 20, Ryan Clifton, wide receiver, defensive line, senior. 21, Daniel Sines, wide receiver, defensive back, junior. 22, Noah Kentu, wide receiver, defensive back, junior. 24, Uriel Vasquez, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. 30, Isaiah Espinoza, wide receiver, linebacker, senior. 
33, Tate Shipman, wide receiver, linebacker, senior. 44, Jaxer Lopez, running back, defensive line, junior. 51, Jonathan Salinas, offensive line, defensive line, junior. 52, Peyton Hart, offensive line, defensive line, junior. 54, Davian Ragsdale, offensive line, defensive line, senior. 55, Ezekiel Hinos. Offensive line, defensive line, senior. 60, Raymond Cortez. Offensive line, defensive line, sophomore. 63, Ozmart Rodriguez. Offensive line, defensive line, sophomore. 64, Ivan Mora. Wide receiver, defensive back, junior. 66, Eric Vasquez. Offensive line, defensive line, senior. 67, Aaron Morales. Offensive line, defensive line, sophomore. 74, Lee Tosh. Offensive line, defensive line, junior. 75, Camilio Espinoza. Offensive line, defensive line, junior. 76, Isaac Vila. Offensive line, defensive line, senior. 78, Nick Reyes. Offensive line, defensive line, senior. Number 80, Mauricio Herrera. Offensive line, defensive back, sophomore. 81, Ramsey Martinez, wide receiver, defensive back, junior. Your head coach is Jason Richards. The assistant is Aaron Simon. Offensive coordinator is Chris Mosier. Defensive coordinator, Daryl Davis. Special teams coordinator, Stephen Butler. Your assistant coaches are as listed. Jackson Lee, A.J. Villanueva, David Sturvident, Austin Ross, Brent Davis, Hector Lopez, Gentry Doolittle. The superintendent is Dr. R.L. Richards and the high school principal is Cindy Basir. We'll be right back for your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshu. Welcome back to the opening kickoff for Milshu versus Bushland. Milshu will receive back his bone sincideros and uh, kicking it away for Bushland. It's going to be Isidro Carlillo. Wet, rainy is uh, the conditions tonight. Very cold. Temperatures in the 50s and dropping. And uh, rain conditions continue to pour in. As uh, this might be just kind of what the game is down to. It's just rainy and wet and cold in this one. Milshu's seeking to end Bushland's season uh, for wins. Bushland currently undefeated. Bone Cincinnati's going to take the kickoff. Bone Cincinnati's has a space, and he's going to get... Past the 25, up to about the 29.30. First and 10 for Milshu. Milshu will start off at the 30-yard line, 70 yards to go. And uh, really, really, really stout defense for Bushland coming into this one. Milshu balance on the run in the pass, and uh, this one you might rely a little bit more on the run. Nathan Martins at quarterback. Daniel signs the player of the week to the right of him. Here we go. It's going to be a pass, and that's going to be out and intercepted. That's going to be number one, Zach Zundel on the interception. Interception on the play, Zach Zundel. Zach Zundel with the interception will give Bushland a starting place of about the 25 of Milshu. Not exactly how you wanted to start this one. Bushland will come out with a chance against a very, very, very good Milshu defense. First and 10 for Bushland now. They send a man in motion, hand up. That's going to go out to Soto. Soto's going to take it up the right side and he's going to get maybe a yard on the play. So make it second down and nine. Bridges looking, is going to get it out to Soto again. Soto's going to shimmy shimmy and uh, get a couple yards. Be. 
third and about six. About third and five now. Here we go, Jacko. Now it's going to be a little jet sweep out to number 14. It's going to cut up the middle. He's going to be finally tackled. David McMullen was almost there for the tackle. It's going to be good for a first down. Jacko, handoff. That's going to go out to Soto. Soto's going to be hit from behind from by Jaxer Lopez. No, can to almost gain that tackle in the backfield. A couple yards makes it second down and eight for the Falcons. And here we go. Watch the pass over the middle. Number 14 is tall and he is big and lengthy. And there it is. It's coming the other way, though. That pass is going to be complete. Touchdown, Falcons. Breaking Reed. 10.33 left in the first quarter. 6-0 to zero is our score here in Bushland, Texas. Carroll to attempt the extra point. Snap is down, kick is going to be up, and it looked like they got a hand on it, and no good. Milshu coming up with the block, keeps it 6-0 to zero in favor of the Falcons. We'll be right back for your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshu. 10.33 left in the first quarter. 6-0 is your score. Nathan Martin's interception they gave the ball to the Falcons at the 25-31. Carroll to kick it off for the Falcons. But it was a pass from Jaco to uh, number 31, or I'm sorry, not 31, 34, breaking Reed for the Falcon touchdown. So Milshu looks like it's going to go out to number two, Judas Reyes. And Judas, or, yeah, Judas Reyes is going to take it himself. And he's going to almost break a couple of tackles, but now it gets up to about the 35, 34. They're going to mark him there. Uh, Milshu's offense, the pass was, I think it just slipped out of the hands of Nathan Martins. Nathan Martins wasn't able to get that nearly as far as what he wanted. It was just a dead duck in the air, intercepted by Zach Zundel. And that's going to be a handoff to Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines just going to keep pushing his feet forward. And they're going to say no gain on the play. Second down and 10 for the Mules. Second down and 10. Sebastian Kerman's in at the wing spot. The bottom of your screen is Bone Cincinnatos. Irvin Torres and it's going to be Ramsey Martinez at the top of your screen. Handoff's going to go to Sines. Sines is going to take it himself. He's going to get some good yardage on that run. And they're going to finally blow the whistle dead. Up to about the 40. Makes it third down and about three or four for the Mules. Here we go, curving in motion, top to bottom of your screen. Coach not liking what he's seeing. Here we go, Bushland showing blitz, really stacked in the box, press forward. Safety is pushed to the top of your screen. And here we go, it's gonna be a quick pass and uh, Nathan Martin's in trouble, he's gonna be sacked. That's gonna take you outside the six, gonna make it fourth and 12 for Milshu. Irvin Torres uh, punted away, Carol Princell to receive the punt. Wind is going to be blowing into the face of Irvin Torres on this one. Wind blowing right to left on your screen. Here we go. Punt is going to be high up, end over end. And it's going to take a Milshu bounce. Hits at about the 45. A Milshu territory will land into Bushland territory at the 43 yard line. First and 10 for Bushland. Oh, 
Milshu's defense pretty stout up front, you know, just not laying any runs together at the middle or anything. But once you hit the outside, it was a jet sweep that gave Bushland the first down on the third and long. And then next play was a slant route pass. So here comes the Falcons. Jack Ho looking. He's going to get it out to his man, Soto, number six, who is going to get maybe a yard on the play. That's going to be Damian McMullen, Sebastian Curvin on the tackle, along with the help of 24-year-old Vasquez. Here we go, second down and 10. No gain on the play. That's going to be Jaco looking. Jaco going deep, has a man open. Number 14, that's going to be caught. There he is, Cole Purcell. Cole Purcell, dangerous last year, and he is definitely doing it again right here. Empty backfield for the Falcons. Jack Ho looking to his right, and he's going to take it. Design draw, and he's going to get nowhere. That's Sebastian Kervin on the tackle. Gets a gain of one or two on the play. We'll make it second down and eight. Now with the wing set for Bushland, Jaco handoff. This gonna go to Soto. Soto's gonna take it himself. He's gonna be tackled. Makes it third down and six for the Falcons. Short gain on the play brings up a third and five. Jaco Soto to his left. It's gonna roll out there. And that's gonna be a pitch out and oh. Almost there was Damian McMullen, not before they get the first down. That play was blown up, and it looked like Milshu was able to get in the backfield, but Soto was just able to hang on long enough, and here we go. Handoff. Nowhere to go on that one. That's going to be a loss of yards. Second and goal. Ball's going to be located at the seven now. Hurry up offense. Here we go. Number zero is in, and he's going to be tackled again. I think that zero is an eight. That's going to be Austin Ryder in at running back now. And back in as now number six, Ivan Soto. Here we go. Third and goal. The three-yard line. That pass is going to go out. And chopped down is Ramsey Martinez on the tackle. Max Rodriguez tackled short, makes it fourth down and goal. And here you go. If you're Milsey, you got to get the stop right here. And that's going to be a direct snap. And and that's going to be Milsey's ball. Number 54 for Milsey got it. That was Davian Ragsdale. Slippery conditions, got to be careful with the ball. So first and 10 for Milshu. Great turnover, score six to zero in this one still. 6.09 left in the first quarter. Milshu with their third series in this quarter. will come out and look to drive it. Be a whole 98 yards. If your mill shoes on oh, stacked front again for the Bushland Falcons, and here comes the blitz, and you're gonna have to get out. And Daniel signs spinning out, giving it a little bit more room, and he's gonna keep pushing forward. Second down and seven. Good job by Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines recognizing, hey, I need to cut it back to the outside. Steps up, spins out of a tackle, and is able to make a really good move and hand off to Daniel Sines again. And nowhere to go with that one. Third down and nine. Loss of a few on the play. And if you're Milshi at this point, I wonder if you try to find something over the middle as Bushland keeps pressing forward, they keep pressing their safety, their strong safety forward. Along with the middle linebackers. Here we go, third down. Nathan, handoff is gonna to go to Signs. The Signs is gonna be nowhere near the first down marker. 
Okay, at this point, you're going to punt it away. So 440 and County left in the first quarter, 6-0. The Falcons lead. Milshi's going to punt away Irvin Torres. Punting it away, 14 is going to be Cole Purcell to receive the punt. You're going to have to get the snap off pretty quick. Got 10 seconds left on the play clock. And looks like they're going to take a safety, make the score 8-0. to zero. And honestly, I think that's a good decision to make on that one. Kind of pinned against your own end zone. Getting the punt off would only get you to about maybe the 30 or 40 or even give Cole Purcell a chance to return it. So 4-11 is left in the first quarter. It's now 8-0 to zero in the first quarter. Milshu will punt it away. And so you have Zach Sundell back to receive. Kicking it away is going to be Irvin Torres. Still wet conditions out here in Bushland, Texas. It's not coming down as hard as what it was anymore. And that is going to go high up. And it's going to be 81, Max Rodriguez, who's going to take it. Max is going to have to turn around. And it's going to be in trouble. He's going to slip by several tackles, but it's going to be finally tackled in Bushland territory at about the 46-47. So 3.59 left in the first quarter. Milshu uh, down 8-0 to zero in this one. Defense looking to get a stop and try to give Milshu the ball back, at least in decent territory. Milshu on that last try start out at their own two. So here we go. Jaco handoff. Soto. Soto going up the right side, and Soto's going to be tackled in the backfield. Irvin Torres on the tackle. No gain on the no gain, second and 10. Two backs in the backfield, and here we go. Handoff is going to go out to number eight. That is going to be Austin Ryder with the carry. And all Bushland did on that one, third down now, third and five. All Bushland did on that one is just bringing an extra blocker for their running back. And it uh, looks like they're going to do that again. Jackson Finch is the other back in the backfield. And it's going to be a play action pass, and everyone looks well covered, and that ball is going to be just outside the reach of the intended receiver, number eight, Austin Ryder. We'll make it fourth down and four, and Milshu will get the stop, and it looks like the offense for Bushland is still out on the field. Clock stopped at 3.05. Left in the first quarter, 8-0 is your score in favor of Bushland, and here comes the substitution change. Jacko is still in the backfield, and Milshu, I think, is just going to let this one go over. And you have a bunch formation at the bottom of your screen. And we've seen this punt formation before, but you don't know what could come out of it. Nope, they're going to pass it. Nope, punt, and that ball... Kind of slipped out of Jacko's hands. And uh, like I said, wet conditions and make and break a game on this one. That ball didn't even make it back to. I don't think it made it back to a line of scrimmage. Just barely. First and 10. Milshu will start off almost at midfield. And you want to take advantage of that on this one. Down 8 to 0. Three minutes left in the first quarter.
Here comes Nathan Martins and company on the field. Two wide receivers down at the bottom of your screen. So receiver at the top of your screen. Bushland showing blitz, and they're going to bring it. Here you go. Daniel signs. No gain on the play. Second down and 10. And this one's just going to be a hard-fought game. You're going to have to find some toughness and grit in this one to kind of get through. It is cold. It is wet. And definitely need to take care of the ball. Second and 10. Nathan Martin's looking. Nathan in trouble. He's going to have to get rid of it. He's being chased by a herd of Falcons. And that pass is going to be intercepted. That's going to be number seven, Aiden Sawyer, on the interception. Second interception on the game. And I wonder where that was going. That was about a, several yards behind Sebastian Curvin. Definitely, definitely wet conditions, and that can affect a lot of things, including the passing game, too, on this one. The Milshu defense now on the field, 220 left in the first quarter. Bushland leads 8-0. to zero. And Here comes Dawson Jacko, the quarterback, and company, really tight squad. Handoff is going to be a reverse. That's going to go out to number four, who's going to take it. And looks like Davey McMullen's in the backfield trying to get to him. And he's going to take it to the house. There's going to be a flag on the play. That's going to come back. Flag on the play is going to bring it all the way back. And I think that was a block in the back. To see it from a mile away. It's not a Falcon touchdown, but it is a Falcon first down. So first down for the Falcons, uh, pounding the gates. Everything only gives Falcons 10 yards of advancement. Makes it first and 10 for Bushland. 2.07 left in the first quarter. They lead 8-0 to zero in this one. Jack Hoett quarterback. Here we go. No play action on this one. They're just going to launch it deep. That is almost intercepted. Judas Reyes had a hand on it. And oh, my goodness. He almost had a big interception on that play. Clock now stopped at 159. Makes it second down and 10. Jack Ho. Looking, looking to his left. He's a trolling, needs to get it off, and that's in and out of the hands of his end receiver. 34, break and read. Make it third down and 10. Third and 10 for the Falcons. Here we go. Jaco looking, looking to his right. Bullet pass out, and that's caught. That's number 81 who caught it. He's going to be taken down. And that's going to be Butcher on the reception. Gives us a Falcon first down, first and 10. Jaco handoff, Soto. Soto up the middle. Soto's going to take it, and he's going to be met by a herd of mules. Gain of about three on the play. Make it second down and seven for the Falcons. Clock now continuing to run 125 and counting. Jaco looking to his left. And he's going to heave it out. Big deep pass. And that's just in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. Number 14, Cole Purcell. 
Yeah, it's Cole Purcell's sixth target on this one so far. They're trying to get the ball to him. Here we go. Handoff up the middle is going to go out to number six. He's going to get a big chunk of yards on that one. Just shy of the six will make it fourth down. Fourth and the hairs on my head is where we're at. And uh, Milshire looking to get us up. Here we go. Handoff, and he's going to be hitting the backfield, and he's going to lunge forward. Just enough for the first down. First down for the Falcons. Soto on the carry. Big run by him. 48 seconds left in the first quarter. Bushland does lead this one eight to zero as they are knocking on the door again for another score. Milshu looking to get the stop. First and goal right at the 10. Gotta go the whole 10 yards on this one. Here we go, play action. Escaping is number eight and he goes up the right side. Austin Ryder on the big run inside the five. Soto is going to take it himself, Jaco. They're going to say down at the one. So third down and goal. Third and goal for the Falcons. And that'll be it for the first quarter. Bushland knocking on the door. They lead eight to zero in this one. We'll be right back for your second quarter of play. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshoe. Welcome back, third and goal. Falcons knocking on the door to start this second quarter. Handoff's gonna go to Purcell. Purcell's going to be in. Touchdown, Falcons. That's gonna be Ivan Soto's first touchdown of the game. Makes the score 14 to zero in favor of Bushland. Carroll to attempt the extra point. Milshu got a field goal block on the last one, and you would definitely love to get one right here, too. Here you go. Snap is sound. Snap is good, and the kick's going to be up and... 
through the uprights, 15 to zero, 11.55 left in the second quarter. We'll be right back for your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshoe. Welcome back. 15 to zero is your score here in Bushland, Texas. Number three, Bone Cincinnatos, and number two, Juice Reyes, back to receive for Milshoe. Carroll to kick it away for the Bushland Falcons. A little haze in the air, just kind of mist is what it is now. It's still cold and wet, but it's definitely not pouring down like how it was to start this ball game. Kick is going to go up and high, and that's going to land in front of Bone Cincinnatus, and Bones is going to have to get going, and he is going to be tackled behind the 20. It's going to bring up first and 10 for Milshew. Milshew's going to have to go uh, length of the field to go down and respond, which you need to right now in this one. Milshew down 15 to zero. And here comes Nathan Martins and company. Bones to zero is the wide receiver at the top of your screen. Irvin Torres, Ramsey Martinez at the bottom of your screen. Irvin Torres in motion. And here we go, handoff to Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines is gonna be hit and taken back. Second down and 12 for Milshoe. It's a four yard loss. It's, it's and I'm sorry, second and 14 for Milshu is a four yard loss on the play. Martins at quarterback to left him in, it's Daniel Signs. Irvin towards Ramsey Martinez at the bottom of your screen, Sebastian Kervin, and uh, Bone Cincinnatus at the top of your screen. So your wide receivers. Now Daniel Signs to the right, here we go. Irvin Torres catch and he's going to be hit. Catch complete though, that takes you back inside the sticks in between, makes it third down and about six. Uh, third down and eight. That's where they're going to mark it. So third and eight for Milshu. About 15 seconds left on the play clock. Here we go. Ball's going to be missnapped and mishandled, and Nathan Martins is going to land on it back at the five. He falls on the ball inside the six yard line. And uh, like I said before, wet conditions can make him break a game, definitely make him break an offense. And uh, both offenses seeing struggles in this one. Clock will continue to run 10 12 and counting. <laughs> Irvin Torres upon the way, Purcell to receive the kick and that. Punt is going to go up and high. He's going to take a mill shoot bounce on about the 30 and will roll out at the 36. 37 is where they're going to mark Bushland to start. First and 10 for the Falcons. The Falcons' offense pretty successful on anything outside of the hashes, but running inside the hashes, they definitely have not been too good. A lot of negative plays running into the Milshu defensive line. Dawson Jaco, quarterback. Aiden Sawyer, it's gonna be a pitch out to him to the outside and he's going to be tackled. Gain of a few on the play, make it second down and eight. It's gonna be second and seven. Clock continuing to run 9.30 and counting left in this first half of football. Jaco, handoff, that's gonna go out to Soto. Soto's gonna be hit immediately. 
He's going to drag a few mules with them. A couple yards makes it third and five. It's third and four. Tate Shipman on the tackle. So third and five. And here comes the flag. And that's going to be a legal motion. And false start on the foul. Getting inside. I thought. I thought it was a illegal motion. Number seven coming across. Kind of confused where he was. It almost looked like it was part of a play design. So third down and uh, I don't want to say third and nine. So here we go. Jaco looking. Jaco's going to go deep and he has number 88. Ramsey Martinez with the interception. Good job, Milshu defense. 15 to zero as they trail and a big interception to keep the Falcons from scoring, stop the bleeding. 851 left in the second quarter and Milshu's offense will now come out thanks to the Ramsey Martinez interception. In comes Sebastian Kervin. To the right of him is going to be Daniel Sines. And then you got Tate Shipman to the left of him. Here we go. Low snap. Sebastian Curtis is going to take it himself. Get to the outside. Makes a man miss. It's going to be forced out of bounds. Looks like he gained a seven or eight on the play. Clock stopped at 845. I want to say he was out short. So second down and four for Milshu. Another keeper by Sebastian Kervin. No gain, third down and four now for Milshu. Clock will continue to run 8.30 in County left in the first half of play. Milshu did receive the ball. Interception turned into points for the Bushland Falcons. And uh, Bushland scored off of just short field in this one so far. They haven't been able to take anything further than uh, anything on long drives. Third down and four, Sebastian Kervin needs to get the ball snapped off and coach is gonna take a timeout. Timeout Milshu, eight minutes left exactly, 15 to zero. In this one, the Falcons lead. We'll be right back after this timeout break. Welcome back. After that timeout break, Milshu taking a timeout, 15 to zero. They trail in this one, eight minutes left in the second quarter. Third down and four, Sebastian Kervin out. And boss mishandled, and Sebastian Kerr is going to cut around the edge, and he's going to extend out his arm, get the first down. And that should be good enough for the first down. It's a first down for Milshu. keeping the drive line, 7.53, and the clock will run as soon as the whistle blows. Kervin at quarterback, right ahead is Daniel Sines, and here we go. Daniel Sines is going to escape some tackles, and he's going to keep fighting forward. And second down and eight. Copeland on the tackle. Keeps the clock running, 7.30 and counting left in this first half. Kervin and company looking off to the side. Daniel... Signs to the left of him, Judas Reyes. Then you got Tate Shipman, Irvin Torres, and Bone Cincinnatos at the top of your screen. Now Daniel Signs coming to the right of Sebastian Kervin. Kervin mishandled, snap again. He's going to take it. He's going to get it out. That's going to be a high ball out to number two. And uh, I don't think nobody was looking at the pass interference that was happening. Everybody was staring back at the flag. So holding against Milshu at the line of scrimmage, but a very, very big missed call on the pass interference at the bottom of your screen. We'll make it second down and 18. Yeah. 
Now 15 seconds left on the play clock. Sebastian Kerwin and company out on the field. Sebastian giving direction to his offensive line. And now you're going to need to get the ball snapped. You know, ball mishandled again. And ball is out, and it's going to land into the hands of the Falcons inside the 10. So Easton Fuentes on uh, the recovery for the Falcons. Seven minutes left in the second quarter. Falcons lead 15 to zero. And the ball is given to them right at the D10. So first thing goal for the Falcons. Here comes Chaco. Chaco's going to hand it off to Soto. Soto's going to fight up the middle, and he's going to be hit. And he's not going to cross the five. Soto, the ball carrier. Reyes leading the way on the stop. For the Mules, it's a gain of two. Second and goal from the eight for the Falcons. Makes it second and goal for the Falcons. Ball now located at the eight. Clock continuing to run in this one, 6.30, and counting down in the second quarter. Jaco looking, going to roll out to his right. He's going to be in trouble, and he's going to finally be brought down in the backfield. That's going to be Ezekiel Hinos. He's brought down all the way to the 15, so it's going to be third and goal from the 15 for the Falcons. Third and goal. Falcons now push back to the 15. Falcons send the man in motion. Jaco's going to look over the middle, looking to his left. All the time in the world, and now he's in trouble. Jaco's going to continue to run, and is going to get the pass off. It's going to be caught. Touchdown, Cole Purcell. They finally found their man in the end zone. Twenty-one to zero. Five forty-seven left in the second quarter. Carroll to attempt the extra point. Here we go, snap is down, snap is up, and it is through the uprights. 22 to zero in this one, 5.47 left in the second quarter. We'll be right back for your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshoe. 15 yard touchdown, Cole Purcell, the Falcons found their man in the end zone. Cole Purcell, several touchdowns last year, and they finally found him in this one. Back to receive is going to be Bone Centenero's Julius Reyes. Kicking it away is going to be Carroll for the Falcons, and the rain is pouring down more than what it was before. And they're going to mark Milshu down. And when I mean the rain is pouring down, now it is pouring down. Looking at the lights and everything, you can see from the uh, home stands. Man, it is coming down hard. Everyone's got their umbrellas and ponchos out. The Milshu offense will now come out on the field and try to get something going. And this is where toughness and grit comes in in this one. It's cold and wet, 22 to 0. You're down, 543. This game won the district play. And honestly, you're playing one of the best teams in 3A football. And snap is going to be high, and that's going to go right back into the hands. The play is recovered. By the Falcons. So fumble on the play, recovered by the Falcons. First and ten. So Bushman will give it back. Or I'm sorry, Milshu will give it back to Bushland. And uh, the rainy woes continue in this one. That is the fifth time that the Milshu offense has given the ball back to the Bushland Falcons. Yeah, 
First and 10 for the Falcons. They're going to send a man in motion. That's going to be a pitch out to number four. That's going to be Adams. Adams is going to be tackled in the backfield. Brought down by Davey McMullen. Davey McMullen on the tackle will make it second down and 12, loss of two. Second and 12. Jaco back at quarterback. Soto. No, it's going to be a pass over the middle, and that is just outside the reach. Irvin Torres got a hand on it. 34, the intended receiver. It's breaking Reed. So third and 12 now. Clock stopped at 454 in this one. Here we go, third down and 12. Jaco looking, they're going to go with the pass and it's going to go out to Purcell. And ball's going to be incomplete. Clock will slap at 446, fourth and 12. Fourth down and 12 for the Falcons, and uh, Milshu definitely would love to get out of this situation, get the offense back on the field before halftime, try to score. Here we go, Jaco looking, looking out to his right. He's going to be in trouble. He's going to be hit. That's Uriel Vasquez on the big hit. Turnover on downs will give Milshu the ball. And... Uh, more woes. Both offenses kind of, when it rains, it pours. Milshu will set up shop at their own 27 yard line. First and 10 for the Mules. Sebastian Curvin and company out on the field. Take care of the ball is what you want to do. And Sebastian's going to go and he's going to get a couple. And maybe. No, no gain on the play. Make it second down and 10. I feel like the range is coming down even harder now. Clock will continue to run 4 10 and counting. Tate Shipman in motion. Here we go. Hand off. Daniel signs down. Signs could be hit. No gain on that one either. Third down. Aiden Sawyer leading the way. No gain on the play. Third down. 10 to 3. 50 left in the first half. Clock running. Third down and 10. 340 and running on the clock left in this first half of play. Milshi down 22 to 0. Now Nathan Martin's in at quarterback. 10 seconds left on the play clock. Here you go, that's gonna be a pass out to Irvin Torres and that's gonna be outside of his reach. Stops the clock at 314. Sebastian Kervin, the intended receiver on the play. And here comes the punt team for Milshu. Cole Purcell to uh, receive the punt. Punting it away is going to be Irvin Torres. Ramsey Martinez in motion. Snap's going to be low. Punt's going to be high and end over end, and that's going to land at about the 40, go past the 30, and out at the 29-yard line. So, Milshu 
turning the field over. Good punt. Falcons will take over. First and 10, 305 left in the second quarter, 22 to 0. Bushman leads in this one, and the Mill Street defense will come out. All right, welcome back. Bushland first and 10, handoff, oh, ball's bobbled in the air and it's going to be number 10, Jacko is going to take it himself. Big run on the play. Jacko on the carry makes it second down and about three. And uh, I mean, it is now pouring down. There's a downpour here in Falcon Stadium. Second down, Bushland handoff. And it's going to go up the middle, and uh, Soto had nowhere to go, made something out, nothing. First down for the Falcons. First and 10 for Bushland. Bushland handoff is going to be a carry by Soto, and so is going to be hit, brought down by Nick Reyes and Irvin Torres. Second down and seven. Now two minutes left in this first half of play, and I think the rain's coming down even harder now. Temperatures now below 50. I know we're in the 40s kickoff. We were sitting right at 50 degrees. And it wasn't even raining yet. Now it's raining, and the wind's kind of more of a calm state now. But wind made it cold, and now the rain's making it cold. <laughs> Second down, seven. Oh, hit in the backfield. And Noah Cantu was almost back there to get a big hit. And that is a no gain on the play. Makes it third down and seven. Neil she says two timeouts. I mean, you would love to score before taking this ball into halftime. 20 seconds left on the play clock. Plenty of time for the Falcons just to run stuff as slow as they can. And timeout. Bushland, 22 to 0 is your score. We'll be right back after this timeout break. Welcome back. 45 seconds left in this first half of Milshoe versus Bushland. And uh, it is raining cats and dogs. And now Milshoe's going to take a timeout after the timeout. So we'll take a timeout too. If. You're listening. We'll be right back. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshoe. Welcome back. 45 seconds left in the fourth or in the second quarter of play. Rain coming down even harder now. Third down for Bushland. Third and seven. They're going to send a man in motion. That's going to be a handoff over the middle and flag on the play. It's going to be false start on the Falcons. Can't necessarily tell you how much rain has fallen in this game, but uh, it's enough to make it a little uncomfortable so far in this one. And I bet down the field's even worse. That turf, when it starts to get wet, definitely makes it makes life a lot harder playing football. Here we go, third down and long, handoff, and he's going to slip away from one tackle. It's number six, Soto's going to finally be tackled. Oh, fumble on the play. Nick Reyes lands on it, and it's going to be Milshu's ball with 34 seconds left in the second quarter. The Mules have it first and 10, ball at the 36-yard line of Falcon Territory. So Milshu's offense coming out, and uh, I don't know if you need this one and 
get your players to the locker room, regroup, or if you try to go score. Looking on radar, the last time I checked, it was a mild storm that was coming through, and it looked like it was dissipating, but it wasn't. Nathan Martin's in trouble. He's going to have to slip out of some tackles, and he's going to finally be brought down. The Matthew Bridges with the sack. So timeout for Milshu as Milshu does. So will we. We'll be right back. After a timeout, 19 seconds left. And this first half of play, Milshu looking to score. Here we go. Low snap. Ball over the middle, and that's going to be in and out of the hands of Bone Cincinderos. 14 seconds left. Third down and long for Milshu. Pass ball is Third and 13, 14 seconds left in the second quarter. Rain coming down hard. Good snap, and that's going to be outside the reach of Bone Cincinnatos. 12 seconds left in the second quarter. Here we go, 12 seconds left, fourth and 13. Martins and company out on the field. This ball's gonna be snapped really low. And Nathan's gonna need to get rid of these. He's gonna be sacked. We'll stop the clock at seven Ethan seconds. Sacks the quarterback. Turnover, turnover on downs. So here comes the Bushland offense. And uh, I think if you're either team, you need it here go to the locker room and dry off. It is very wet and cold in this one. And it looks like that's what the Falcons are lined up to do. And we're gonna head to halftime. 22 to 0 is your score in this one. Bush and Leading will be right back for your kickoff.
to the start of your third quarter of play. Kickoff was out. Goes to Bushland. Milshu received the ball to start the game. So Bushland to get it to start the second half of football. Continuing the rain, looking back at the radar, just may not stop for the rest of the game. Stronger storms out to the west of us, and they are just slowly making their way out towards Bushland, Texas. Milshu trailing this one 22 to 0. And uh, I tell you what, uh, there's a slippery slope right now between both teams, no pun intended. Lots of turnovers on both sides of the ball. Number 10 is going to take it for Bushland, hand it off to Soto. Soto's going to go up the middle, and he's going to finally be hit, and they're going to allow him to continue to drive. Soto's carry goes nine yards, second down and two. All right, second down and two for the Falcons. Here we go, hand off to Soto again. So it's going to go up the middle. Soto going. Soto having one tackle to break is going to slide. He's going to be tackled. He's got a Falcon first down. He's brought down by the Mules at the 35 yard line. So Soto to the 35 that takes the Falcons into, into Milshu territory. Be first and ten for the Falcons. Clock running, 10.50 and counting left in the third quarter. Bushland leads 22-0. Milshu looking to get a sound, trying to get some points. First points of the game. Here we go, handoff. So go out to Soto again. Soto's going to make one man miss, make another man miss, and he's going to score. 35-yard touchdown. Falcons, that's going to be Soto. Makes it 28 to 0 with 10 34 left in the third quarter. Carroll to attempt the extra point, number 38. I'm sorry, 31 is Carroll. Here we go. Snap is down. Kick's going to be up. And no good. Keeps the score 28 to 0. We'll be right back for your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshu. 35-yard run by Soto makes the score 28 to zero in favor of the Bushland Falcons. Kicking it away is going to be Carroll. Back to receive, looks like Bone Cincinnatus and Judas Reyes is going to be at the top of your screen. I think it's Davian McMullen, number zero, there in the middle at the 25. Here we go, kick's going to be up. It's going to go right into the hands of Judas Reyes. Judas Reyes is going to be pushed backwards. He's going to be tackled. So here comes the Milshu offense. See who they bring out. Quarterback looks like it's going to be Nathan Martins. Judas Ray is on the return for the Mules. Uh, 10 20 left in the third quarter. Milshu looking to score their first points in this ball game. <laughs> Gotta love a rainy night. It is Nathan Martins out at quarterback. Daniel signs, handoffs. Daniel's going to take it, and he's going to no gain on the play. get no gain. Makes it second and ten. Clock continuing to run under the ten minute mark now in this one. Here we go. Second and ten. Nathan Martin's hand off to Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines gonna make one man miss, make another miss. The loss on the play for the Mules. It's gonna be third down and twelve. Substitution change coming in. Tate Shipman coming out. Juice Reyes is now coming in. Number two. 
Got Bone Sensing Nerdos out there, wide receiver. And you also got Sebastian Kervin and Irvin Torres. Your two slots are Irvin Torres and Sebastian Kervin. Bone Sensing Nerdos, and uh, looks like Juice Race on the outside. Here we go, and that pass is going to be incomplete. Fourth down. Pass incomplete. Brings up a fourth and 12 for the Mules. Incomplete pass will stop the clock at nine minutes and three seconds here in the third quarter. Bushel needs 28 to zero in this one. Irvin Torres to punt it away and no one back to receive for the Falcons. And that punt's going to be a nice little boot. Landed at about the 40 and uh, Irvin Torres was hit. And the ball is going to be down at the 48-yard line of Falcon Territory. We do have a flag on the play. So roughing the kicker. And I remember what the rules are. There's two differences. It's roughing the kicker and running into the kicker. And one of them leads to first down. It's going to be a 15-yard penalty first down for Milshew. So costly mistake for the Falcon defense. Gives Milshew the ball back. New set of downs pushes Milshew up the field to should move Milshew just inside the 35. They'll mark Milshew at the 33. Milshi down 28 to zero, looking to get their first points in this one. Against a very dangerous Bushland Falcon team. Here we go, first and 10. Pass is going to go deep out to Bones Cincinnatos. Bones is almost there and uh, incomplete. Just outside the reach of Bones Cincinnatos. And that was honestly not too bad of a pass. That was just in reach of his wide receiver. Bones Cincinnatos not able to get to it. Clock will now stop at 8.46. Bone Centenero, Servant Torres stacked up, and then Judas Reyes is the lone receiver at the top of your screen. Smash and Kervin at the wing. Hand off Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines is going to be hit. Get some positive yardage on the play, though. We'll make it third down and eight for the Milshoe Mules. Gain of two is third and eight for the Mules. Well, if you're Milshoe, you're definitely trying to rely on the run a lot of the times right here, but and it is raining sideways in this one so far for most of the game. The, towards the end of the first quarter, you really didn't have any issues. And that's kind of when Bushland took advantage of everything. Milshu fumbled a couple of balls inside of the 30, inside the 40. Gave some really easy points for Bushland. Turn around and uh, same, most of the points in this one. That pass is going to be caught. That's going to be Sebastian Kervin with the reception. First down for Milshu on the third down and uh, keeping the drive alive. We'll keep the clock running, 7.53 as soon as the whistle blows. Down to about the 49 yard line of Milshoes where Milshoe will be located. Wind kind of tame now when we first started this one. Wind was blowing really hard right to left. First and 10, handoff, Daniel Sines tackled in the backfield. Jackson Fett makes a stop in the backfield. Kemp on the tackle. We'll make it second and 12 for Milshu. Clock running 7.20 and counting left in the third quarter. Milshu down 28 to zero. And Milshu's offense really hurting themselves on this one. Lots of turnovers in this game. And uh, certainly you can kind of put a finger on it and the finger's gonna be pointed at the Weather tonight, definitely a lot of rain. Here we go, Nathan Martin's handoff to Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines fighting forward. And he's just gonna barely get back to the line of scrimmage. 
and everyone is bouncing off of each other. Stops no gain on the play, third and 12. Here we go, third and 12 for the Milshoe Mills. Low snap, Nathan looking, Nathan in trouble. Nathan's gonna have to get rid of it. Nathan's gonna go, he's gonna turn on the Jets and he's gonna barely make it back in between the sticks. He's gonna get across the 50, make it fourth down and about six. Martin on the keeper, he's not inside back territory. He gets to the 48. But well, Nathan on the keeper down. makes it fourth and down. Located in between seven. the sticks, fourth and fourth seven, and five forty-five and the counting the left in the third quarter. Here we go, and that's going to be it's going to be a false start, and that's not what you want if your mill shoe takes you even further back into your own territory. Here we go. Punt. Irvin Torres putting it away. Low snap. And that punt's going to be booted high. It's going to take a Bushland bounce, and you're going to want to land on it. Lands at the 35. We'll take a Bushland bounce towards the 40 to about the 43 yard line. First and 10 for Bushland. 518 left in the third quarter. They lead this one 28 to 0. And uh, Bushland coming out strong. Big touchdown, 35 yard touchdown by Soto on the outside run. And like I said, you know, Milshu's just getting beat on the outside, trying to run it up the middle. You're not going to get anywhere. And honestly, it's just kind of anywhere in between the hash marks. Milshu's been really good. It's on the outside is where they've been struggling. Here we go. Handoff's going to go up the middle again. And he's going to break free. I can't get a number on him. Final tackle, that's going to be number 34 on the run. Breaking Reed on the run. That's breaking Reed on the run. First down. First down for the Falcons. That's going to be a big, big, big run. And that's the first play inside up the middle that Milshi has given up on big yardage. Breaking Reed didn't have anywhere to go on the outside, cut it back towards the middle, and had a just a big enough hole there to make it through. Broke two tackles. Rain still pouring down. This one first and ten for the Falcons. Jaco handoff to Breakin. Breakin's gonna finally be hopefully brought down. Here we go. Second and ten. Well, they're gonna give him a yard. Second down and nine for the Falcons. And uh, I think the rain's coming down a little bit harder now, slowly but surely. Clock running 420 and counting. And yeah. It's an injury timeout. The Bushland player was able to come off on his own. Second down and nine. Clock running, approaching the four minute mark left in the third quarter. Jaco hand off to Soto. Soto's gonna get hit. That's Nick Reyes. Nick Reyes with the big tackle. It's gonna make it third down and about six for the Bushland Falcons. Yeah, and I think this rain is coming down even harder now. 
looking across the field, looking up at the lights. You can see it just pouring, pouring, pouring down. And here comes the hurry up offense. Jacoa quarterback Soto to his right. Hand off, Soto, Soto's gonna take it. He's gonna be met in the backfield and he's gonna be brought down. That's Tate Shipman gang in the backfield. Tackle for loss will make it fourth down and long for the Falcons. Tate Shipman do, doing a really great job swimming around his block, getting into the backfield and getting the tackle for loss. A really good job by Tate Shipman on that one. Clock will continue to run 250 and counting left in the third quarter. Yeah, it's going to be a flat. It's going to be a false start. Clock now stopped at 2.26. So with the false start, that will drive, push them back even further, and they're going to have a change in uh, personnel, and that's usually a punt change. I think right here they're going to try to get whatever yards they can or trying to get a first down and here comes the hurry up. Here we go. Jaco looking, Jaco going deep out to his right and I threw that out into an open area and I don't think there's any receiver in there just trying to get it to the end zone. Just aiming there, turnover on downs for the Falcons. Brings up first and 10. Both receivers are running away from on their routes from where the ball was thrown. They recognized where the ball was being thrown. They looked back and quickly changed course on that one. Just outside the reach of any Bushland receiver. Brings up first down 10 for Milshu. Milshu looking for their first points in this ball game. Uh, definitely water struggles in this one. Rain continuing to pour has caused a lot of problems for the Milshu offense. And Daniel Sines tackled in the backfield on that one, carried by him. Second and 12, clock continuing to run, approaching a two minute mark left in the third quarter. Here we go, second down and about 12 for the Milshu Mills. Martin's looking, Martin's gonna have to get away from it. He's just gonna take the ball himself. It's gonna be tackled just shy of the first yard marker. So I'm bringing a third down and about four for the Milshu Mills. Here we go, two backs in the backfield. Low snap, ball's on the ground, and uh, Milshu's gonna have to land on it, and they're gonna say it's going to be Bushland see what they say. Bushland's kind of signaling their way. Clock has stopped at 52. And it's going to be fourth down for Milshu. And they're going to stay recovered by the Mules. It's fourth, fourth down and eight. Fourth down and eight now for Milshu. Getting balls changed out. Rain is still pouring here. And uh, Storm's just kind of hovering overhead, not really moving too much. Punt team is out for Milshu. Irvin towards the punt away. No receiver back. Punt's going to take a end over end run, and that's going to take a Milshu bounce line at about the 46, and we'll roll back to the uh, 43 of Bushland. 
24 seconds left in the third quarter. 28 to 0 is your score in this one. Milshu will go into a bye week after this one, then face River Road at home. And I think that game is on the 21st of October. And there is a yellow hanky on the ground. And there's going to be a flag on the play. Penalties to Klein, it's going to be it's going to be a legal procedure on Milshew. Penalties will be the Klein, will be the Bushland Falcons ball first and ten. Twenty-four seconds left in the third quarter. Rain is. Still pouring down in this one. 28 to 0 is your score in favor of the Falcons. And here comes Jaco. Jaco, handoff that's going to go out to number 18, and he's going to cut it back up the middle. And he's going to be in a pile. So holding against the Falcons is going to take him back even further. Fourteen seconds left. Twenty-eight to zero is our score. First and 20 now for the Falcons. Oh boy, Bushland. Bushland will just let run out. End of the quarter. Into the fourth we go. 20 to 0 is your score. We'll be right back for the start of your fourth quarter. You're listening to. First down and 20 for the Bushland Falcons, and they're going to get a big run. Try to get in between the sticks again after the holding call. Start of the fourth quarter, 28 to 0 is our score here in a rainy night, rainy Friday night here in Bushland, Texas. It's the first, uh, first game of district. 
play Butchland, uh, the favorite to uh, win the district. Milshu definitely giving them a fight in this one. Ball's on the ground, and that's going to be a costly mistake. We'll make it third down and long for Bushland. Milshu clinched a playoff berth last year and was able to go into the playoffs. Won their first game and then lost to Jim Ned. And uh, Milshu looking to kind of do the same on clinching and trying to make it even further into the playoffs this year. Milshu doing a great job this year on offense and defense. Unfortunately, in this one, uh, kind of similar to what you saw in the Littlefield game, lots of turnovers, but... That one's start of the year jitters. This one's a lot of rain. Here we go. Handoff. He's going to be hit. Davy McMullen on the hit. Marquez uh, with the carry is going to get back to the sticks. Fourth and ten for the Falcons. And here comes the change in personnel. That's going to be a punt team coming out. Something about that last play energized the Milshu defense, kind of the Milshu sideline. Momentum can still be a factor in these kind of games, especially down by this much. Bob will land at about the 24, take a Bushland roll down to the 15. 9.53 left in the fourth quarter, 20 to zero. Milshu's gonna look to score. And uh, anything can happen in this one. <laughs> and here comes the uh, Milshu Mill offense going to be Nathan Martins and company. Daniel Sines to the left of him. Watch Sebastian Curvin in the slot. Low snap. Hand out to Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines going to be tackled. Run will be a yard loss. Make it second down and 11 for Milshu. Second and 11 for the Mule. Milshu was able to get a couple passes on their last series. Really good job by them just finding the open receiver. Clock continuing to run, 9-15, and counting in the fourth quarter, 28-0. Mill Street trails in this one. Nathan Martins, handoff, Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines going up the middle, Running fighting, the and uh, it's going to be a loss of a yard on the play. Third and 12 for Milshu now. Rain continuing to come down and uh, not getting much colder than what it is now. Now it's just wet and cold. Started the game at about 50 degrees. Last time I checked, we were sitting in the upper 40s. And it really hasn't changed since then. 8.20 left in the ball game. Milshu down by a lot. Snap is going to be over the head of Nathan Martins and Bushland is. Uh, now there's a pile. It looked like Bushland landed on it. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Falcons. 8.14 left in the fourth quarter. Bushland will take a touchdown. Fumble on the play. Jackson Fetch. Recovers in the end zone for the Falcon touchdown. Make it 34 to zero in favor of the Bushland Falcons. Tempting extra points will be Carroll. Snap is down, kick is up, and 
Looks like it's through the... No, it's not. It's going to be just a little to the left. No good. 814, 34 to 0 is your score in this one. We'll be right back for your kickoff. Welcome back. Fumble Ben the back the end zone gives uh, a touchdown to the Falcons. Makes it 34 to 0 with the PAT missed. Carroll to kick it away for the Bushland Falcons. Back to receive is going to be Bone Cincinnatos and Judas Reyes. Kick is going to be a straight line shot. It's going to go right to Juice Reyes. Juice Reyes is going to take it, cut outside, and he's going to be tackled. First and ten. He's going to be credited for getting to the 21 yard line. Oh, 7.50 left in the ball game. Milshu just a little out of reach. Anything can happen. Uh, Milshu has found a little success through the air. Some success kind of on the outside, but no success running it up the middle against the stout Bushland defense. Uh, first and 10, Nathan Martins and company out on the field now. Daniel signs to his left. Low snap is going to be... No good. And tackled for loss. Loss on the play. It's gonna be a loss of about four. It's gonna be a loss of five. Second down and fifteen for Milshu. Clock will now run. Seven thirty and counting down. Once again, uh, kind of the story on this one tonight: just bad weather, cold weather and a lot of uh, fumbles, kind of on both sides. Bushland press forward, ball out, and I think Bushland is going to land on it. Fumble on the play, recovered by the Mules. No, Milshu will recover it, but that takes you down to the five. Got to get up to the 31 for a first down. Third and 25 for Milshu. Third and 25 for Milshu. Here we go. Hand off Daniel Signs. No, no, it can too. Big open hole. No, it can too. Will continue to go. Gets up. They get up to the 20 yard line. It's going to bring up a fourth down and 11. Uh, fourth and 11 now for the Mules. Irvin Torres to punt it away. Nobody back to receive for the Bush and Falcons. Snap punt is going to be up and away, end over end. It's going to take a bounce at about the 50, uh, land at about the 45 of Bushland, and that's where the Falcons will set up. 532 left in the fourth quarter, 34 to 0. Falcons lead in this one. Well, Bushland very successful in this one through the air and also on the ground, but kind of been a story of just getting outside the edge, forcing Milshu to spread outside and then finding someone over the middle. Here you go, Jaco, handoff and ball's going to be bobbled and uh, that's going to make you pay for it. The Milshu defense will. Milshu gets into the backfield. Loss of one, second and 11. Second 11 for the Bishop Falcons is uh, 
New set of players will now come in for the Falcons. This will be mostly second team. Jesse Cantrell in that quarterback. Handoff. Cantrell hands it off to number three, Marquez, and Marquez will be forced out of bounds. Stops the clock at 439. Third and eight for the Falcons. In is Tanner Adams for the Falcons now. Mishu has a bye week next week, and here comes the hurry up. After that, they face River Road. Uh, handoff, and there's going to be a flag on the play. And that's going to go nowhere. Gonna be false start on the offense. I don't know why they let the play run. They let the play run. Usually, it's a legal procedure. Penalties decline. We'll make it fourth down. Well, fourth down and eight now for the Bushland Falcons. And here comes the change in personnel. Jaco now out of that quarterback. And I think he's just gonna punt it away here. Here go low snap and that ball's gonna be high end over end. And you just wanna get out of the way. That's gonna take a very, very big bounce, Bushland bounce. Down at the There's also a flag on the play. Holding. So holding against Milshew. 3.18 left in the fourth quarter. Milshew will come out, and uh, that hurts you even more. That, Instead of you starting at the 19, now you will start even further back. You will now start inside your 10 at the 9, down 34 to 0. The ball's at the 9 yard line. Mills, she's still seeking some points Mills, in this game. game. 3.18 left in the fourth quarter. Your ball's going to be mishandled. Noah Cantu on the run, and Noah Cantu is going to be finally hit, not before he gets 10 on the play. Flag on the play. Flags on the play. Sportsman like conduct against Milshew. Do it again, let's go. Three ten left in the fourth quarter, thirty-four to zero. Big run by Noah Cantu is going to be erased. And the ball is going to be placed. Just outside the 10 yard line. It's first and 10 because there was a first down picked up on the play. It was a dead ball penalty. So, Mules have it just outside the 10. So now Milshi will take a timeout. 3 10 left in the fourth quarter, 34 to 0. That'll be the first one of this second half of play. We'll be right back after this timeout break. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshi. 3-10 after that timeout break. That's what's left in this ball game. Handoff is going to go out to Noah Cantu. Noah Cantu is going to find the edge. Noah Cantu is going to turn on the Jets. Noah Cantu going. And 
Oh, first down for the Mule Shoe Mules. Now three minutes left in the ball game. No can two forced out of bounds. Clock will now run. Here we go. Handoff's going to go out to Noah Kentu again. Noah Kentu's going to find the edge, and he's going to finally be brought down. Gain of a couple on the play. We'll bring up second down and eight for the Mule Shoe Mules. Second and eight. Clock will continue to run 2.20 and counting left in the ball game. You know, mishandle, it's going to be no can to, and that ball's going to come out, and it's going to be Bushland's ball. It's Falcons football. So Bushland's football, 2.05 left in the fourth quarter. They lead 34-0. It's going to bring up a first and ten for the Falcons. Let's go, David! Two oh five left in this one. Bush and Lee's thirty four to zero, and that snap's going to be high. It's going to go out to number three. Ball's going to be out. It's going to be picked up. Who is that? David McMullen, and he falls to the ground. Covered by the Mills, he will fall over. There's a flag on the field, though. Mullen recovered the fumble for the Mules. David McMullen uh, recovered that fumble, and it, he took off, and it looks like. Uh, Turf Monster got a hold of him. Just tripped him up a little bit. 156 left in the fourth quarter, and I don't know what the uh, fishing crew is uh, discussing. You... They're trying to figure out if the flag will negate the fumble, and uh, usually the only thing that wills off sides. Fishing crew congregating in uh, the uh, cold, uh, wet field out here. It's what we have here today in Bushland, Texas. It is very wet at this point. It has not stopped raining since the start of the game, and it's just come down a lot of harder. So holding a mill shoe. The recovery. That's going to be after the recovery. So, Muleshoe's ball. And kind of looking up there at the top, I mean, as the fumble happened, the two players were engaged with each other. And I don't know if you would call that holding. Uh, it's kind of a half and half, just depending on the efficient crew that you have. Be first and ten for Milshew. Uh, Milshew fumble gives it back to Bushland, and then uh, Bushland fumbles now gives it to the uh, Milshew offense. 156 left in this one. Milshew just looking to get any points at this point in this one. The game is, uh, I wouldn't say put away. It's not put away until the clock strikes zero. 
but chances are very slim in this one. And the fishing crew is still taking their time. Here we go, first and 10. Looks like Nathan Martin's out there. Noah Cantu to the right of him. Hand off, Noah Cantu finds a hole up the middle and he's gonna be tackled. Not before he gets a couple on the play. I was like, he'll get one or two, it might be just one, make it second down and nine for Milshu. Give him two yards on the play, second and eight. Second and eight now for Milshu. 125 in county left in the ball game. Judas Reyes, Irvin Torres, and Bone Cincinnatus are your uh, wide receivers. No, Cantu's going to be hit in the backfield, and they're going to blow the play dead. Loss on the play. Brings up third. Bring up third down and 11. Clock now under a minute left in the ball game. Milshu will have a bye week next week, then host River Road for the second game of timeout and timeout Milshu. Second game of district. 30 seconds left, 34 to 0. And we'll be right back after this timeout break. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshu. Here we go. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Handoff is going to go up the middle to 22. And Milshu runs it out to about the 28 yard line. It's going to bring up fourth. That's down. right. It's Uriel Vasquez, fourth down. Fourth and uh, Milshu will have one last chance for a play here. If not, they'll just let it run out. And that's what they're going to do. That'll be the ball game. 34 to 0. Bushland victorious. Bushland will save undefeated. Milshu will get their second loss on the season. By week next week, the following week, Mills Shoe will host River Road. We would like to see y'all out there. Safe travels home for everyone from this one. Final here, 34 to 0, rainy night. I'm Elliot Davis, the voice of the Mills. See y'all later.